Hi, my name is Marie Michelle Babin, and I would like to welcome you to this H3D tutorial on correctly overlaying normal map inside of Photoshop. So, actually, recently I realized that I've been doing it uh, wrong for a very long time. So, for example, when I wanted to add like a pattern in uh, Photoshop to my normal map, uh, I would just take the texture I wanted to and put it in overlay mode, and then that would be it. I was just like, that's great. And then I noticed something, is that when you go check in the blue channel, when you have overlay, you actually have nothing left, almost. But if you go before I add the overlay, I still had a lot of information in my, uh, in my blue channel. And that's because the, the overlay is basically washing off because it's so white. So uh, I found a great way to uh, overcome this. And I'm going to show it to you. So what do you actually need is that we're going to multiply the blue channel and then we're going to use the green and the red channel as an overlay like we used to. So we're going to start by basically removing the blue channel. So how do we remove the blue channel is to use a, a neutral gray because the, the neutral gray is not going to do anything when we use uh, the overlay mode. So I'm just going to go into blue channel and I just filled it with the neutral gray, which is a 128 gray. So here we have what we actually gonna overlay. So let's go here, control V, and then overlay here. And we're gonna now do it for the blue. So here we wanna keep the blue channel. I don't know if you can see, but that's this little detail here. So we're gonna need to neutralize the green and the red. So since this time we're gonna use the multiply, we're just gonna put the white in. So let's just remove the two. So I don't know if you can see it, but this is actually the information, but it's really yellow, so it's hard to see. But now we're just gonna paste it. And I don't, whoops, sorry. Multiply. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can actually see the difference here. And if you go look in the blue channel now, you still have boat information in so that's actually the best way to uh, multiply a texture without losing any details and uh, depth in our blue channel so i hope that was helpful and thanks for listening